And if you're struggling, whether it's with relationships, the divorce, financial, career, health, know that there's a struggle because something new is forming. Did you push record? Thanks so much for tuning in to our second act with Paige and Silka. For your second act of life. Hey, Silka. Hello, Paige. Glad to have you back for a very important topic today that actually you thought of this. We, we, we've been talking about feeling just kind of low or left behind in midlife that all you know with all the different changes we're going through we're not getting the same enjoyment out of life maybe that we did before and you told me yeah this is what i'm dealing with with a lot of my clients so let's talk about that how do we dig ourselves out of that gray hole in midlife i guess first you have to recognize that you're in the hole to begin with or going down towards the hole right because the things that we used to do just don't give us the same kind of pep anymore um, and maybe the people that we had around us, the relationships feel a little different now. And maybe where you're living, it just doesn't feel the same. Or if you're midlife in your career, yeah, i just not getting the same thing out of it. So you see the theme? We're just not getting the same thing out of things in our life. And that can also be for your body, for your health, the food that you're taking in, because as we change in life, you know, our bodies change too. So as we refill what we want to do in our life and shift and change, also take a look at the nutrition because they kind of go together too. That makes any sense. No, absolutely. Absolutely. And I guess the, the first point really is that this is very normal that oh, as we God, have, yes yeah <laughs> unfortunately yeah. and fortunately yeah well there's some interesting research on that too is uh with the happiness curve that your happiness and joy just dips in in 40s and early 50s and then slowly comes back up and that may be associated with exactly what we're talking about is recognizing that we're going through a change and making changes uh you know to find our happiness and joy again and there was an interesting article that addressed that as well it's, it's funny because you came up with this and at the same time i'm reading this article so it's like yeah we need to talk about about this. Yeah. And the first step was to change your priorities, not just your circumstances. What do they mean by that? Well, you know, priorities that we might have had in our 20s, 30s, and 40s that we felt were important to us shift and change. Um, for instance, maybe your priority was to make X amount of money or be this far in your career or have this many kids or live in this place. And it starts to shift and change because what fed us before doesn't feed us in the same way anymore. And then a lot of people kind of climb down into this low grade kind of depression, thinking, oh my gosh, you know, why is this not working? It's okay that it's not working um, because now you can look at this as an adventure. Like I get a chance to redo some things in my life or every aspect of my life. So that's a really big thing too that's not in that article that we should add is, perspective is huge on this because it can really overwhelm you and take you down if you're just feeling like where do I begin what do I do so whatever the priorities were before start to do some inner work and kind of talking to yourself about what what is my priority today and is it okay that I have these new priorities will other people be okay with me changing my priorities doesn't matter what other people think or society thinks Go within yourself and find what do you want to prioritize for your life today. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and they write here that is uh, when you really allow yourself to truly evolve, that's when you start to feel better. And I, I... Yeah, that's a great point because we're not good at allowing ourselves to evolve because it's like, oh, holy shit, I got to hold on for dear life because I'm allowing what's happening and I can't control this. And what if it doesn't work because I'm older now and I might not have the same amount of money and friends and this when you're younger it's like you can do anything you're invincible it can be the same way now it's about trusting just allowing because the body and the soul knows change needs to occur so you're either going to fight it or you're going to roll with the waves with it yeah good point uh the next point is uh don't used to your life away mm -hmm. used to 
I used to do this. Why can't I do this now? I used to do that. How come it doesn't fulfill anything? Well, I used to do this. Well, that was where you were. Pay attention to where you are presently. And it goes back to don't fight where you are because that's what happens. We fight so hard to hold on that, again, the great word that you used, Zucco, was we're not allowing where we are today. And gentleness with yourself while you're figuring out what you're going to allow to be open to bring to yourself in your life. Yeah. Well, and I want to reemphasize what you said, be in the present moment. You know, forget what ha- it doesn't matter what used to be. It does really see the beauty in the present moment and uh, remember that gratitude is always at you know will make you happier be thankful where you are whatever that is i know that sometimes may be easier said than done but it does make sense right absolutely even if you're struggling so much find something that you're grateful for and if you're struggling whether it's with relationships the divorce financial career health know that there's a struggle because something new is forming so if you can have that perspective on the days that it's really hard and challenging then you can step into it it'll help you allow more often yeah the third point that they uh, write here and it makes so much sense is find a new why to get mm-hmm. up in the morning mm-hmm yeah like why am I getting up in the morning <laughs> <laughs> right why am I spending all these hours doing this why am I having people in my life that don't work for me. Why am I working at this damn job? Like, think about why do you want to do something now? And what do you want to get out of it for yourself? Be selfish. Look within yourself of what's gonna feed you right now. What will work for you right now? And and kinda ask yourself, why have I been doing this job? Why have I been in this relationship? Why have I dot, 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 to see if the answer to the whys are working in the present moment. If they're not, then you know to change the whys and figure that answer out. Yeah, I think this goes back to another video we did, I'll, I'll link to it, uh, about you know stepping into your second act, that uh, in the first half, we, we build, we try to create or whatever. It's, it's about material things where the second half is more about being of service and spiritual. And I think that's, that's what they mean here too is, is your why is more focused on that. And I think the being in between that is where the quote midlife crisis comes in, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because as you say, we're in the process of developing something, right? Yeah, that's why I always tell my clients, no matter where you are in your life, everybody has many, many times with that they're in the in-between stage. And that's the most uncomfortable stage because everybody wants to get over here. Mm-hmm. But you miss so much if you don't stay present in the in-between. Because eventually, when you get to here, if you don't figure out what's going on in the in-between, it's going to come and get you at another time. And it's going to come more intensely, more deeper, and harder. Yeah. I think a big part of it, too, I had an interesting interview, I don't know if you've seen it yet or not, uh, with the author of Who Do You Want to Be When You Grow Old? And and it's a whole reframing of the aging process to where we actually look forward to aging, as silly as that sounds. But I think that that's what's important to, to, I think, encapsulate in this as well. Right. And what you were saying, Silka, about how to change your perspective on the aging process. What's challenging for so many people is that society hasn't changed that perspective. So you have to really look within yourself and go, I don't care what society says. And that's good because remember, rules and norms are created by humans. Just because they're created doesn't mean that's what it is. And that's how we're supposed to live. So as we age, create your own perspective on hey, this could be an adventure. How can it be this way? You know, how can I look at this even on the days that you hurt or you have a medical condition or something doesn't work as well? Kind of do a workaround of, okay, so this doesn't work as well right now. So what can I do instead of this that maybe I haven't tried before? It's really about perspective. And I want to say one thing that's important. It's okay if you have days that you're like, screw this. I don't have that perspective. I don't want that perspective today fine, give yourself a time limit to have the perspective that you're not doing well, and then pull yourself out of it. 
Yeah. The uh, word coming to the end of our segment, uh, obviously, I always want to let you close. <laughs> I think for me, the, the big th- what's important in this conversation is that so many of us feel this frustration right now, and it's just important to point that out, that you're not alone in this. Paige, I'll let you close. Oh, God, no. You're not alone. I go through it. I, I know, Silka, you go through it. Everybody goes through it because it's natural and it's normal. So the more we normalize it and we allow everybody to be messy in the process, because you can't be perfect in this process. So it's okay if it's messy. It's okay if you don't have all the answers right now. It's okay if you get a snippet and then you get another snippet and then you get another snippet and pretty soon there'll be a line that forms that will lead you to where you wanna go. So be gentle with yourself in the process as we're in midlife and as we age. Good point, good point. Paige, thank you. (laughs) We'll see you next time on Our Second Act with Paige and Silka. For your second act of life. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if there's a topic that you'd like to have us cover, visit our website, secondact.tv. We have a little red suggestion box in the upper right-hand corner of our site. Just click on that, drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. See you next time.